Hi, everyone. Becky Belote here from Newport News, Virginia. And today I have a couple of tips that I figured out with the new admission ticket border punch. All right. So it makes great borders. Um, hmm, I'm going to show you an idea with this, but I didn't pull it. So actually, yeah. Yeah, I can show you what, what it looks like as a border. All right, so um, makes great um, borders, but I also discovered something else pretty cool with it. All right, so I really appreciate you tuning in today. Um, I want to say before I forget that our company is clearing off their shelves. They do this typically um, at the end of each year um, to make room for new stuff. And I know that since some of you are relatively new to creative memories, a lot of the stuff that they're marking down like crazy amounts might be brand new to you. And for some of you others, like perhaps you started a beautiful um, album with, I'm just going to make this up, the staycation line, but you're not done yet. You may want to go check your staycation line and make sure you have all the components that you need to finish the um, the ideas that you were making with that because there are oodles and oodles of lines and punches that are on last chance. And you all know what happens to our punches once they um, go away. They go way up in price. You can find them, but sometimes they're $60, $75, $200 because they become collector's items. So please check and make sure that there's not any punches on the last chance on the deals section um so when you log in there's this all these tabs and there's going to be a tab where you can shop or on your phone i think a panel comes up this way and you want to shop deals or last chance or something like that um and just make sure you have everything that you need to know if you find 140 dollars worth of things that are tagged um that they um count towards the promotion if you hit 140 on all of those things you can get a free uh, actually a pretty nice gift if you like gnomes, all right? So anyways, I wanted to bring that up before I forgot because sometimes as an advisor who, um, you know, sells stuff, when I, I saw how much stuff that was going away, I'm like, oh, customers need to know. <laughs> because some of the things on the list are favorites or even brand new stuff, like the balloon and star border punch. It sold out right away. And so that was new and it went to last chance and now it's gone. So I just don't want you to miss out on something that you were hoping to have one day in the future. And now you can get it at a discount. Okay, so go check. All right, don't check now. We're checking a minute. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and, and, and look at some ideas. Let me change my screen real fast. All right, there we go. All right, so um, what the admission ticket, it looks like this. Um, and it's designed to be tickets like for carnivals or movies or Broadway um, shows, anything that you might get a ticket for. And um, even um, I thought about um, school, like um, my, my children always had the fall festival where they got these little tickets so that they could get on the moonwalk or all kinds of different things. So I think that you'll like this one um, for all kinds of different things. So this is what it looks like at a little border that looks like ticket stubs. All right. So I'm working with that today in a um, in a different way. So let's go ahead and show you, I'm working uh, with mostly the Adventure Parks line today. This is the new line that I mentioned last week. It's got some ABCs that have polka dots on it. It has stickers. I've been working with the embellishments today, so I have them out. But embellishments, and they're glossy. I don't know if you can tell. They're glossy, shiny, pretty. Um, and then we have two packs of paper. We have a designer pack. And then we all, and we have mats. And we also have um, Fast to Fab. And the Fast to Fab, let me see if I can find some in here. I use those first because they're my faves. And it looks like here's, oh no. Huh. Let me see. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where they are. I definitely have some because I pulled some out last night, but I don't see it. But anyways, the Fast to Fab line, here's I'm gonna I'm gonna piece this one back together. <laughs> let's see let me piece it back together I cut this one at my at my last crop so this is what one side <laughs> of the piece of paper looks like and this is what the other side of the paper looks like so the fast fab papers 
they already have borders on them. So it makes them really easy to use. And so that you can chop it and flip pieces over. And then, um, well, in this case, I need the other piece. Oh my God. I had to talk about this when I wasn't ready. To, um, so I cut two pieces at the same time. So here's the other piece. Um, what I did, I wasn't going to talk about this, but I'm talking about it now because I, I'm already too too far gone. All right, so here's my two pieces of paper that came out of the Fasta Fab pack. I took the two pieces of paper, I folded them on top of each other, and then I whacked on it, all right? And you can whack on it any ways you want. Like I could go like this. I could take my wavy trimmer, all right? And then that way I'm cutting them both um, the same way, the same point. And then what you can do is you can piece them back together on your um, in your album and that these pieces will fit back into the spots. And then you have um, a whole different look that looks uh, actually quite complicated that really was very simple. And then you can add your photos, okay? So that's another thing that comes in the Adventure Awaits bundle. And if I am not mistaken, and I have to admit, I didn't go check. Y'all must think I am a total idiot, but um, I think this line, you can still get at 10% off until Friday at one. So the whole line, um, which includes all of this stuff that I just showed you, it also includes um, a really cool border maker cartridge called Shutterbug, Shutter Love, or something like that. It's got little cameras and um, parts. And let me um, grab that. Let me see if I can redeem myself a little tiny, tiny bit. Um, so uh, here, here is that camera love bunch there. Super pretty, right? Okay, so that's all the stuff that comes in the bundle. I do believe it's on sale. If it's not on sale, you still want it. All right. What am I going to show you that's cool with the admission ticket punch? Well, um, what you're going to need is, is two contrasting pieces. I think I may have, there we go. It's back. Um, no, it's not. Huh, interesting. Not sure why it's doing that. I don't like it. All right. Um, and um, I am going to cut some rectangles. And it doesn't matter what size rectangles that you cut for this. Um, just make sure they're rectangles. And I'm probably just going to do like this big, probably. I don't know. You can see I didn't really even measure that. And um, for a double page spread, you're going to want two of them. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this in half here at the six so that I have two. They can be squares. I said rectangles. Rectangles are squares. Um, you can do either. A square is a rectangle. I, I said that wrong. All right. So if you are doing a double page spread, you do need two of these. Um, same size. Doesn't matter what size. If you're only doing one one page spread, you just need one. All right. The next step, what I want you to do is pick two opposite corners. Doesn't matter which two. And you're going to flip your punch upside down. You are going to jam this into the hole. Bad color choice. If you can't see, grab this. I'm just going to show you this, and then I'll go back to my black. All right, so I am centering it. Now, see that see that little notch right there? That's where I'm, I'm jamming my corner in the middle of that notch. But what you have to be really careful about with this technique is that when you cut, make sure that this, the piece of paper here and the piece of paper over here look the same. All right, so I'm going to put it back in the hole. If I do it like here, you can see how there's more space here than over here. And it's very important that you have it in the middle. Okay, so that they look about the same. All right. In other words, I want this line right here to be in the center as well as I can. So let me do it now with the black because that is going to show up better on this piece of paper. And then I'm going to do the opposite corner. All right. Then what I want to do is cut this at a diagonal. So you just want to put the little, little points of your rectangle in on your, your line there and your trimmer. You can use this little guy to make sure it really is 
where you intended it to go. There's these little guys right here that have a little line in the middle, if you can't see that at home. And I'm just making sure that line is going right through the tip of my triangle there. All right, and then what I want to do, I want to pick a piece of paper to build this on. And I think I actually pulled that. Let's see if I can find it. Of course I can't. Let's grab um some, uh, what am I seeing there? How about some light blue, maybe? All right. And then I am going to stick these triangles down if anybody is still watching. Put them right in the corner. There. Maybe I'm going to put one on the opposite corner to get a different look than what I'm getting ready to show you my completed version. Okay. Looks pretty good. Good just the way it is, right? So this is a look that you could do. And then I'm going to take a piece of paper that I want to pair with it. And I want to cut off a half an inch from the from one side and then a half an inch from the perpendicular side. So here and here. Half an inch. So that's the first line to the right. Half an inch. Rotate it 90 degrees and cut off another half inch. So you took a half inch off both the length and off the width. Now what you'll see is that this is going to nestle perfectly into this hole here. And I probably put too much adhesive there. All right, so let's get that in there. And then you've got a pretty cool look, I think. Do you like that? Now, instead of building on the light blue, I could have built directly into my album. All right. So that one I'm going to finish later. And now I'm going to show you one that I already finished. And this one I did with Adventure Parks, the Adventure Parks paper line. And you can see my red triangles in the corners. I built this on a black piece of card stuff. Um, so if I had black pages in my book, I could have built directly into the book. But in this case, I just built on black card stuff. My red triangles are in the corner. They were more rectangular than square, but again, they would work with rectangle. So this is a mat from the mat pack. This is a mat from the mat pack. This is a mat from the mat pack. I added some stickers there. I added some ticket stubs here. And these were actually embellishments from the embellishment pack. All right. Super pretty, right? I hope you like that. All right, so another look. So um, those of you that came to my craft the other day, I already showed you this skill, but I wanted to show you another similar concept that actually uses a little less paper. So for this one, I took one piece of paper and I did what I just told you to do, but I did it on all four corners, okay? So instead of opposite corners, I did a full 12 by 12 piece of paper and I did it on all four corners. Then what I'm going to do is cut this piece of paper in half at the six inch. Then what I'm gonna do is grab a piece of paper that I like that coordinates with this card stop. And in this case, I use, I pulled this from Totally Tonal Avocado. Speaking of last chance, this is one of the paper lines that is on its way out. It's not discounted. It's brand new. But when it sells out, it will be gone. And this matches so perfectly with the Christmas cheer line. So I wanted to give you a heads up that avocado is, a, I think, a must-have to extend your life of your Christmas cheer. All right. Then what we're going to do is cut this avocado in half. My lighting is not very good today in here. I feel like colors are not showing up for me nice on the screen. All right, so I'm going to cut that in half at the six inch. 
Then I'm going to stack them and then do what we just did on the other one. All right, remember we took a half inch from the top and an half inch from the side. We're going to do that again from both of these at the same time. So that's the first line over. I think it moved. So half an inch there. And we're going to do a half an inch here. You can save these two, the big ones, because I actually did use them on the layout that I'm going to show you. All right. I didn't use the little ones, but I did use the big ones. All right. So now what you can do is exactly what I just taught you, except for we're going to tuck the corners in here and here. And here and here. Okay, and then let me grab some cardstock to build on what I just so happen to have. You naysayers that say she's going to screw up again. Oh my goodness, I cracked myself up. So um, <laughs> we can put that right there. And another one right here, which is exactly the way I did it on the completed layout that I'm getting ready to show you. But you could also do it this way, of course. You could always do it this way. And of course, this way. So you get tons of different looks with that. All right, so let's um, look at the completed one. Just not sure why my lighting's going in and out. I need a professional. All right, so this is the one that I completed with it using Adventure Parks. Uh, this is blue cardstock. This sheet was a piece from the Adv Ad uh, Adventure Parks um, designer pack. This piece is the back of this. Um, so actually, this is one full piece, and then you have a second piece, of course. And I cut these off of the second piece. These are some ticket stubs that I also made with the punch. We've got some embellishments here and here. Um, this was a mat from the mat pack where I added some of the new ABCs with the white polka dots. It says showtime. So um, I, I thought popcorn, ticket stubs, um, I thought I thought Broadway show, um, popcorn, I mean, um, a movie, um, something like that. So it doesn't have to be just parts, you know, like carnivals and, and stuff like that. It could could also be used for other. Things. So, oh, and you see, remember how I said we might use these strips that I cut? I used them down here. So the pieces that I cut off, I put down there. Add a little color to the sides. All right, does that sound good? All right, so sorry about the lighting today. Look, it just came, it went beautiful as I walked away. Not sure what happened today, but anyways, I hope that you still got the general idea, and I apologize. Hopefully, we'll have that worked out next week, but I can't guarantee it, and I sure do appreciate you watching. So if you need an advisor, um, I would love to be your advisor. Um, Let's see, it's uh, www.creativememories.com um, forward slash user forward slash Becky Bloat, B E C K I E B E C K, I mean B E L O T E. Oh gosh, I can't even spell my name, <laughs> Becky Bloat. Um, however, if you have an advisor, please use them. Um, or if you have no advisor at all, please pick one. You know, even if it's not me, please pick one of our um, an amazing you know, Creative Memories advisors. We can help keep you posted on when specials come up, like I just did. We can give you ideas because we work with each other. In fact, this idea right here, last night on my team meeting, I taught my team how to do it. And in fact, I had a teammate that was at the meeting and showed us all another idea. We help each other. 
I had somebody on Zoom that was help, helping. So, so you want to join, uh, uh, you want to buy from somebody that is knowledgeable. Um, so make sure you um, buy from your advisor or find an advisor. Don't think that it's smart to just, just order blindly because we can help save you. You know, it could be you order on a Friday when we have a promotion coming on Monday. So we can let you know about that. Uh, so that's why you want to, you know, pick, pick an advisor. Okay. So anyways, thanks for watching and you all have an amazing day.